everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where I just had a heart attack thinking that audio wasn't working and that I recorded the last episode without audio but I just double checked and it's fine so <laughs> oh, I don't have to have a heart attack today <clears throat> oh let's see if I remember how to do any of this Climbing is not my favorite in this game. A room with no way out. Great. At least there's a console. Mm -hmm. We very. This must be like a data banks. I don't know. They're very foldy. Okay, let's activate the hollow projector first. A log. It better let me read that data entry over there. Just got off the line with U.S. Robot Command. Time's running out. I didn't have the heart to tell Harris that our cure might be worse than the disease. Even if adamantine wreath works, we still have to prove we can curtail the trailing plants efficiently. But Cobble's team is working on it over at Test Station Ivy. He'll come through. He has to. Metal flowers. Had a menting wreath. Another secret project. Well, they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy. How do I get out of here? There were more messages! Oh? There we go. Oh, it's just window covers. Oh, hi! Great. They would have... These guys again. They would have seen that. They would have heard it oh, at the very are. least. They want me dead. I better be careful. I don't think it's anything about you in particular. I think they just don't like people being here. Tala Aquino, personal log, signs as a process of discerning patterns, finding a sense of order amongst the chaos. Never has that been more pertinent than today. Here at the greenhouse between the construction bots, the strewn wreckage from last night's storm, the howls of protesters who don't even know the nature of our work. Amongst all this, we must find method. All week, the verts have been delivering sets of bewildered faces. And I've promised my paymasters that those looks of stunned incredulity hide some of the world's top minds. From what ideas will sprout that can feed a starving world... From which ideas will sprout that can feed a starving world if we work fast enough? If we knew what it what it was we were doing, it would not be called research, would it? Albert Einstein. Did he really <laughs> say that? So we strike out from the shores of the known and swim into the deep oceans of the possible, knowing that we must find something before the world drowns. But does the man who is guiding us understand the work we must do? There's no doubt that Ted Farrow is a business savant when it comes to robotic assistance. But does he grasp the, grasp the science as well as the marketing? He and his board can sense what the world wants from a fashion app, but the choices they make now will determine whether a million starve here or a country falls into the void there. Farrow has grasped the fact that action is necessary, but can he really be a force to save the world? And no! This is the problem with Elon Musk types. Ted Farrow is definitely an Elon Musk type, like or like, like I guess it like reverse. The reverse is true. Or probably vice versa. Like both both of them are true. But yeah, it's just like okay, you might be pretty good at business, you know. Even if that could be argued um, for both of these guys, but like you don't you don't know what is net. You think you can save the world, but you don't have the know how. You don't have the actual know how on the science or the politics or any of that. You know. You were just wealthy. You're just wealthy is what your superpower is, and that doesn't always... You're not all Batman, you know? It's not all the solution to all the problems. Wealth can be a, a great blinder as well. I could definitely go out that door again. It doesn't make you smart. It doesn't make you, I don't know, worth anything, as <gasps> odd as that may sound. Now I have... What I what I thrive in, okay. my stealthy plants. I could take those soldiers. You out definitely quietly. could. You definitely are way more equipped to do that. These guys are very fond of explosive barrels, though. I love it when I like zoom in. It's like when they all decide, oh, now we gotta run in. 
like the so that it's how they spawn in. They're like, oh, it's our turn. And they're like off screen. And they're like, oh, geez, we're late for our queue. <laughs> See, do you have anything useful to say to me? I could blow some of this stuff up. There's a barbarian in the compound. She got past the lookout. I did. Find her, kill her, and bring her head to the lieutenant. So they do have understood. I wouldn't give this diplomacy is off the table. They do seem to have a similar Tanakh mindset of, uh, or not mindset, like hierarchy, I guess. The thing is, is I want, I want to set that off, but I don't know if they will see me immediately. Is my issue. It hasn't seemed to work in the past. I'm tired of the ruins. Tired of the island. Tired of the whole damn continent. Oh, because they are supposed to be... They're supposed to be from far away, aren't they? They're supposed to be from over the sea, correct? I might be misremembering that. We've only heard of the Olen, uh, Olen a few times. I want to get this guy. I want to explode this barrel right out the gate and see if this works. <coughs> Where is it? Where does your path? I am pressing wrong buttons. Where does your path take you, my guy? Go back. I want to pronounce it Chen, but I, maybe it's Quet, and I'm not sure. I can't remember if it's been stated out loud. Dang it! That guy's coming back over here. Go, go look the other way. I didn't do much. But they did not alert on me, so that's nice. There's no one here. Legacy have let us here. Let me get some rocks. Where are rocks at? Why are the rocks so far from the smoke bombs? I don't think this is this is gonna be too far. Come back with this way. Sorry, this is the boring part of my playstyle. <laughs> that guy just said what I wouldn't give to have some pastries from the Great Delta. I don't think they have pastries on this part of the continent. Where are you guys from? Come in here. Someone there? Yeah. Knock, knock. God, oh, that guy's looking now. Okay, good. I was ho I drew him into the weeds a little more in the Tired hopes of the island. Tired of the whole damn that continent. that would... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, he's going to be too close to the body. I'm going to have to silent strike him before he gets in here. And hope that those guys don't see... Trying no. I'm trying to kill this guy before he draws everybody's freaking over here. Never mind. I can't silent strike you. Oh, I can. I can't. Lame. Do, do the thing. Bye. Well, they still know I'm in the area, so that's a little concerning. I kind of want to run over there. They don't see me. Protect the site. Kill her. Oh, okay. Spread out. Take her up now. Yeah, they have marine and like lieutenant <laughs> stuff like that. Very Tanakhi, but again, they probably had access to military recordings like the Tanakh did. Not one more step, barbarian. 
They also call me Barbarian instead of Outlander. I don't think I've been called Barbarian. Protect the site. Kill her. Uh, here on this continent. What's taking so long? My blade will find her. What is your blade? A dowsing Take rod? Ha ha ha. I just realized I could maybe run into them. Where am I at? And use this ability. This is probably foolhardy. Do it. I am doing it right now. Want more? Why is it not working? There we go. Oh, I did it. Oh, is there somebody else? I just had to not be not be being hit. Oh wow, it threw them back very far. Who's left? Oh, I do hear somebody. But I do- Are you hiding in that grass? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. I see. Think you're safe, <sighs> do you? Imperial Guard. I was wondering if they, because I think my guess is that they are coming from Japan. Japan is the closest overseas, um, Continent is it? Not continent. Not J Japanese continent, but country. I guess landmass. Japan is the closest landmass, and the style of these, um, like especially like the lantern type things and some of these banners and stuff, looks vaguely Japanese. And I wasn't sure if that was actually like a thing or if they were just taking inspiration from that. But I should have known better. The Horizon I Forbidden West developers. Um, only take inspiration. That's why a lot of the uh, the tribes in Horizon, like in this continent in Horizon Forbidden West, uh, they have armor and stuff reminiscent of Native American tribes is because they take inspiration from the peoples who lived there and the resources that they had access to, you know? Or that they would have had, a, that they, that are similar to the ones that the Native Americans had access to in the past. So it makes sense that they would have if they were in like the Japanese continent that they would have that their historical stuff that their oh. documentation their records would be I uh, wish these people would have talked to me instead of trying to kill me would have a Japanese bent obviously you know oh, now um, I need to find a way out of this courtyard imperial so imperial makes sense in the design onwards and upwards and these are like, this is not their homeland, so these are all like temporary things that they brought with them. And see the, the, the lettering? Very simi simi similar. I was trying to say, what was I trying to say? Not trying to say similar. I was trying to say similar and something else at the same time. No, what are, I can't even think of the word. I think it starts with an S. Anyway, try to combine the two words. Oh, nice. Elite blast trap. Oh, ho, ho, ho. whoa. Berserk Hunter. Oh, yes! A Berserk Hunter bow. Oh, okay. Fire these arrows at human or machine enemies to build up the Berserk state. Once in this state, they will attack the nearest target, regardless of if they are friend or foe. Wear down the strength of your opponents by making them fight each other. I love this one. <laughs> I can already kind of do that with my... Oh! These special arrows can designate a target for overridden machines to attack for a limited time. Oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. I very much like that. Oh, look. Good. I'm glad I didn't, um... I didn't, I didn't craft anything while I was fighting, really. Weapon upgrades. Maybe I should... I think... I feel like I should upgrade the bow that I just got. The Berserker bow. Oh, I can't. 
two small machine core. No! No, I have the third upgrade. Cool, there's so many. There's so, there's too many things. Too many. I, th there's too many things. <laughs> Just too many, what do you call it? Um, ammo types, weapon types, elemental states. All right, where do you want me to go now? That door looks promising. Any door looks promising at this point. Oh, cutscene. So many cutscenes in this area. I did enjoy the Berserker uh, manifestation, I guess. That version of Berserker in Horizon Zero Dawn. Targeting arrows are new, I though. Submit. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. They attacked me. If by death alone I can atone our trespass. Look, I'm not going to kill you, okay? I just want to figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? Uh, Her outfit? I'm of the chosen people. The quiet is stunning. The ancestors left the power of the focus to us alone, the eye that reveals the legacy. The legacy, huh? The legacy? Uh, the truth. It is in the darkness and the lost places, among the ancient ashes and the bones of the before that it lies waiting. You know, as a diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. You're looking for data. Maybe we can help each other. What's your name? She just massacred everybody she knew. Second diviner of the Eastern Expedition. I'm Aloy. Why don't we start again? Okay, interesting. The whole thing, the ancestors thing too. Again, very Japanese, right? I mean, that's pretty Asian in a lot of ways. <laughs> um, a lot of Asiatic cultures have a big thing on like, um, I guess like ancestor worship, but just like it focuses more on that than like a lot of Western cultures do. So that is definitely, this is fascinating. And I was kind of curious if they were going to do something like this when there was a hint that, and this was like back in the promotional material, I think, where there was a hint or something, or maybe outright said that they were, it was potentially going to be interaction with across the sea with, with, um, with mo people were guessing Japan. Cause they said something about across the sea. And of course the data that they've picked up will have been, like Japanese bias, uh, like um, encoded, you know. So this is just fascinating. It's just totally interesting um, that they would have like a different take on everything than the cultures have here. And the cultures here on this continent have a wild, wildly differing view on a lot of things, but you can still see like the seed of the origination of like the truth, you know. Anyway, this is just fascinating. I've never heard of the, the chosen ones too. Our lands lie across the great ocean. We haven't been here before. So why come now? Our homeland has been ravaged by freakish weather. Terrible storms and blistering droughts. The crops are failing. The people are starving. When we looked for answers, it was proposed that if we had the courage to cross the ocean to Legacy's landfall, then we might earn the knowledge we need to save our people. But so far, that knowledge has eluded us. Maybe attacking everybody on sight not a great way to do that. <laughs> um, but it's interesting too that she said if we can, if we can, if I can repair our trespass or whatever by my death, like they know they're trespassing. But so your people call this place Legacy's Landfall? No, uh, Landfall is where we arrived, to the west, in the shadows of the sunken city by the broken bridge. A broken bridge. You mean San Francisco? Yeah. Yes, you're well versed in the legacy. It was a place of great importance to our ancestors. We had hoped to learn their secrets there, but so far that door remains closed. Even so, the data we discovered there has led us to this place. It might be our last chance. To find something that can save your crops and your people. Yes. If the ancestors will be generous to us once more. 
She's really decorated her focus. So you said your ancestors left your tribe that focus? Yes. Thirteen diviners have possessed this one since it was discovered among the ruins in our homeland. I have their honored names committed to memory. So you have one, but none of the soldiers out there did. We each have a role to play. No, it is the diviners' purpose to seek out the legacy, interpret the wisdom of our ancestors for the good of all, and to keep it safe. So elven keepers. So that no one but the diviners know how to use a focus. Not even the Imperial family, and certainly not soldiers. Mm. So how many diviners are there? At Landfall, a small group. Uh, back at home, a few dozen more. That's a guess. Uh, only the overseers know for sure, and I am not of their rank. Interesting, so it's a whole... It's interesting that it's being kept from the Imperial family. Also interesting that once again they have an Imperial family. Like, whole thing going. Um... Obvi you know, like, based off of what little information they are probably able to glean. And also, like, no, yeah, like, I don't know, and the, the pods that were over there, the people popped out, and, like, had what, what whatever knowledge they had from their pods, but they were able to get some focuses working, but they've still managed to, like, mythologize this stuff, you know? I guess so did the Tanakh. They had some more intact data, and they still mythologized a lot of it. So you call data from the ancient past the legacy? Yes, all that is not lost or forbidden. Forbidden? What does that mean? All that we are capable of reading and that which is permitted. Okay, I'm not sure I get it. That's fine. Um, so what do you use the data for? The greatest secrets are the ones that improve the lives of many. How to tend our crops, how to hold floodwaters back, or even cross the ocean. Technology. That is what I seek here. Technology that can help my people back home. Nod, nod. Okay. Those soldiers. They opened fire on me without warning. Why? Uh, it is the duty of the Quen to seek out the legacy and defend it from the ignorant and envious. Not that you seem ignorant. But back home, other tribes only mean us harm, and we were told the same was true here. Does that come from your legacy? The legacy is truth. But we have been known to misinterpret it. Mm. I hope time and the wisdom of our ancestors will guide us down the correct path. Yeah. I hope so too. <laughs> we are <coughs> both hoping for that. I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No, uh, but I did find something that looks like a map, uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. There's a lot of files here. <sighs> I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. Like I said, a lost file. You can't see the map? It's okay. It looks like your focus is an early model. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid-2050s. But I could share them with you. Share them? Interesting. You can see what is lost and forbidden. Not lost, not forbidden, just a newer format. There, that's where I need to go. Oh, but you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. What about this tunnel? It looks like it unlocks from here. No. I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Let's try with my focus, okay? I want some of your outfit. Can I have one? I believe these consoles were meant to be operated in unison, but 
I'm not sure. Oh, how convenient. Also, did I... Oh, no, I did get to read the other one. Growing concern. We all already have moderate but promising results from the Insect Protein Initiative. Ted Farrow, it's a dead end. There are 12 competitors ahead of us on farm protein. Our team, Tela Aquino, our team is pushing to improve the yield and once they've... No, kill the program. Today, the plant gene sequencing stuff is where we've got an edge, but I want every program to link it to the harvester. Our robotics team is developing. You're talking about flushing six months of research. Our AI tells, tell, our AI tells us the plants you're creating are robust enough for auto-harvesting. You wanted me to feed starving people, Ted. That research will help. We will feed them from a feral harvester. This is too sudden. We can't reconfigure everything that quickly. You have to think bigger, Tala. Was it you who that wrote to the team this morning? One of those quotes you're always throwing around? If I have seen further is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Isaac Newton. Well, Newton didn't have the resources we've got, Tala. He couldn't dream of the horizons. We can already see. Where are the giants now? Oh, my gosh, this man. And this is, oh, just, I have, like, so many rants just going off. But, like, this is why, like, non-scientists shouldn't be in charge of, like, scientific research. I get that you need to have deadlines and stuff. But he's not trying to help people. He's literally just trying to, like, make money. And, like, he's not in it for, like, helping people. Like, anybody who says that they're in it for anything other than themselves, anything other than a prophet who's, like, a, mil a billionaire, is lying. They don't, you don't get to be a billionaire by being a nice person. Like, it's just a factual, cold, hard fact. Like, you get to be there. You get to be a billionaire by stepping on people and ruining lives. And, like, people dying. <laughs> like, blood diamonds don't, like harvest themselves essentially you know what i mean and like all their profits are covered in blood like anything that comes off of something like that like i don't know that's a that's a one example but like you don't become a billionaire by being nice by being charitable uh so this is just it's so frustrating to have like scientific advancement be curtailed by like some capitalistic cannibalism it's like this uh, this desire for profit that's gonna eat us from the inside out. It's just frustrating. Oh, I can only imagine having to work with him in some capacity. It would be a nightmare. Okay, here we go. Following your lead. The ancestors have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. They kinda have, they kinda have. You yes, want yes. me to come with you? It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? Don't you search for knowledge? Time to go get some knowledge. Anyway, she reminds me of Beta a little bit. Um, I also just kind of like the, 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 what is it? Not recalcitrance. She does have a weapon on her back. Look at that. But the, uh, like timidity kind of makes me want to shake her and go, just stop it. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, anyway, I am going to go ahead and go once again. It's my time. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. <coughs> really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Rizcalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher. <laughs> I apologize. My <laughs> treat your patron. All the talking is mm, still messing with my lungs. I'm sorry. <laughs> but thank you so, so much for your support, Christopher. I really do appreciate it a lot. So I hope you guys are all enjoying the video and videos and that I will see you in the next one.